Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. What you picking up down there? This one is very sweet. It's pretty too. I get Boston baked beans, oh. not French burnt, mm -hmm. because it's got like that sugary candy colored right. peanuts in there. Not the delicious burnt peanuts. Mm. We love our French burnt peanuts. Very pleasant oak, cinnamon, a little chocolate. Wow. It's just so many candy like smells. It's like walking oh. into a candy shop. Oh, yeah. A little alcohol tingle. And after a while, I got that caramel opens up, so even more oh, candy like. That's very nice. I really like it. I give it a four out of five. Okay. Vanilla char. A little baking spice. It's kind of a medley of like clove and cinnamon and all those. It's like if you were to sniff the baking spice cupboard, that's what it tastes like. Okay. That's weird. Uh, it's got a little smokiness. Interesting. Not much alcohol on the palate at all. It's fairly smooth. Oakiness is like a dry peanut shell. That might bring down the score a little bit, but I still don't mind it. I'm going to give it a 6.5. The finish is a little thin, uh, medium length, maybe closer to the short. That's hard to say, but it's not bad. Decent mouthfeel. Tastes a little bit young. Kind of brings it down a little bit in the finish. I feel like if it had a little bit more age, that finish would just pop. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? Oh. I give it a 3.5. How about the very look? Ominous. Oh. <laughs> the look is actually pretty nice. It's like a nice amber color. It is pretty. A decent amount of legs. They run a little bit, but uh, they are pretty fast. Mm. That one proved me wrong, as I was going to say they're not he that said, fast. Nah, 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 and he said, pew! Um, I'm going to give it a 1.75. I wish it was a little darker. A little thicker looking. That would be nice. All right. You don't have any guesses. Nothing. I. So this one, the Boston Baked Beans, I automatically think it's a Jack Daniels thing. But it doesn't taste like a Jack Daniels. So I really have no idea. Something that's similar to Jack Daniels. You ready? By me. Yeah. Good so, old Alabama moonshine. Mm-hmm. We have done multiple Clyde Mays products. We have mm, had some Dusties. Yeah, all Alabama um, style. Yep. So this is their straight bourbon. It's 92 proof. Um, John bought this in I a set. I wouldn't have gotten set. 92 proof. Yeah. John got this in a set with the Conecuh Ridge Alabama style. Um, all three, seven, five. Yep. And he keeps yelling at me. He's like, I want to finish that bottle, but someone hasn't blinded me. I leave it. a little bit left in every bottle just because I know she needs to blind me on it eventually. And it's been like a half a year. Are you done bitching? No. She's never done bitching. Okay. So this bottle is actually very unique. Mm -hmm. The pictures on it and... So these are actual pictures of Clyde Mays, their family on the property, all kinds of cool stuff. They have the cool wraparound label. It has his um, writing, his signature. Yep. Uh, very original, very unique. I'm going to I'm gonna have to give it a two. Okay. It is a very nice bottle. 71 will give you that um, 
I think that's fair. You enjoy Clyde Mays. Not super crazy about Alabama it. I love Alabama style. Um, I love older Alabama style. Yeah. The, the dusty bottles we have, you really enjoy. Mm -hmm, very um, fruity. Yeah. Isn't he the one that threw the apples in the barrels? Yeah. So if you look back on some of our older videos, we go really in depth with a lot of these. We really enjoy Clyde Mays story. Um, and that's just one of those bottles that's kind of unique and fun to have around. And they've got a lot of just wholesome, nice stories that go with them. So they got some recipes on their site too. Mm -hmm. You should check that out. Absolutely. But I think that that's pretty standard. It's this not is one a... that I would go to for a neat sipper very often, but no. every now and then. That's nice. Right. Yeah. It's nice to have around. Do you know the mash bill at all? Or do you think you can look it up real quick? I can look it up. So Clive May was a moonshiner by trade, but a craftsman by heart. He made his famous whiskey in hand-built copper stills with fresh Alabama spring water and the finest local ingredients. The man was locked up for his passion eight months in the federal penitentiary. Oh. Yet he started up those copper stills the day he got out. The straight bourbon honors Clyde's dedication to the craft. We use simple ingredients in a patient aging process to produce a fine, easy drinking spirit. Like Clyde's own moonshine, it's a, very, it's a whiskey with integrity, straightforward, porch sitting, rockin' chair bourbon. And this time, it's perfectly legal. Um, I always love their stories that they do. I wish I, I could read it a little bit better. It's just so small and my eyes were jumbling together. I know. Any so, classes. Mashville is 78% corn, 12% rye, 10% barley. Fair and least. it was first released in 2016. Hmm. September of 2016. That's not that long ago. Nope. So, the Alabama style has been around longer. Yes. And they used to source that, so I'm wondering if they didn't source this one at all. They just waited until that was ready. the juice was ready. Yeah. So that's a pretty standard Mashville. Mm hmm. Nothing crazy about it, but... I think this is a good one to have. It's decently priced. It is easy to sip, great for cocktails, whatever. I mean, it's, it's very versatile. So if you want something decent in your pickup and see what you got in your stash, this is definitely one to keep around. Oh, if you see a 375 of it or a mini, mm -hmm. grab it. But they also make minis of the Alabama style. You got to try that. It's yellow one right there. Alabama oh, style favorite. is just so good. Same thing. Pick up one. Try it. I mean, the Alabama style, the Connecticut Ridge one is only 85 proof, but it's just so flavorful. They they get a lot of flavor in their bourbon, and it's really nice. It's very pleasant. Yeah. But there you have it. Finally, you got your side maze. Don't knock my shit over. Root. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.